Hello and welcome back to this week's edition of Bible Bites. My name is Reverend Dave and this week we are going to be looking at gentleness. Yes, gentleness. This week is all about it. And we are going to be doing uh, a combination, really, of a bit of science and a bit of what looks like magic. And it's a really good one. I quite like this one. I have tried it earlier, so I know that it works. I'm confident this week. Um, But before we go any further, it's good for us to just stop for a moment and pray. So let's pray together and we'll say a big amen at the end. Dear God, we thank you for Bible Bites. Thank you for the fun that we've had over these weeks together. And for this week, as we look at gentleness, we thank you that you are a God who is gentle to us. Help us and guide us now as we look at this and have some fun together. Amen. Great. Okay. Well, like I said, we are going to do um, a bit of an experiment in just a little while, but I want you to hold off, hold off on that excitement. Uh, First, we are going to go to the Bible and we're going to read a story about how Jesus showed gentleness to a woman who really needed it when she was quite vulnerable. So let's have a look together. And this comes from a gospel, which is stories about Jesus, really, and his life, from the Gospel of John. So here we go. Jesus went to Jerusalem, and there he was teaching in the temple, when one morning the religious leaders took a woman out before him. She was crying because she was afraid. The men brought her to the feet of Jesus. Teacher, they said, this woman has done bad things in her life. And the law that we follow says that she can't live. What do you think that we should do to her? The woman was so scared, she didn't even lift up her head. Jesus bent down and wrote on the floor. Well, said the religious leaders, what do you think we should do with her? Jesus stood up and said, let the person who has done anything wrong be the first person to hurt her. Jesus was teaching them to be gentle and not to judge someone who has done something wrong in their lives. Well, all the people looked at each other. Everybody knew They had all done something wrong in their lives and they weren't right to judge this woman for doing something wrong in hers because nobody is perfect. So one by one, the people walked away. First the old people left, then the young people, even the religious people who were trying to condemn and say bad things towards her. In the end, everyone had left except Jesus and the woman. Woman, Jesus said, Has nobody punished you for what you've done wrong? She raised her head and looked around. No one, Lord, she said. And Jesus said, then I won't punish you either. Make sure that you don't do this again. Be sorry. Go back and start over. The woman was so happy, she began to cry. But this time, her tears were tears of joy rather than tears of being afraid. Wow, what a story, isn't it? What we see in that story is that Jesus had an opportunity to be harsh towards that woman because she had done something wrong in her life. And the religious leaders wanted to do that to her. But Jesus said, no, no, I won't be harsh. I will be gentle. I will be gentle instead. So we're going to look a little bit more now at the idea of gentleness. Gentleness, okay? So we're going to have a look at our experiment. So let's go and have a look now. Okay, so we have a series of candles, five candles in a row. We have a jug and we have a special liquid 
There is also something, a certain powder that's in the bottom of this jug. Now, if you think back a couple of weeks ago, you might remember us doing something similar with similar items. So I want you to try and remember what it was that we used then, and it will help you to understand maybe how I do this trick. So first of all, we're going to light the candles. Probably speed this up a little bit or so. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is mix this liquid with this jug. What's inside of the jug? Here we go. And it's going to need me to cover over the top of the jug. Here we go. Like so. Gonna wait just a few seconds. And then, here we go. Three, two, one. Would you look at that? I promise you no liquid went on to those candles, but somehow, somehow, all the candles were extinguished. I wonder if you can think back to what was used a couple of weeks ago and work out what I did there. Wonderful. There we go. So welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that trick. I wonder if you've worked out yet uh, what was inside, what is still inside this jug here. Well, I can tell you this, not just about what is inside of the jug. It's also about having a very gentle, steady hand as well. That is a really important part of this trick. Gentleness is really important in life in general as well. And there's lots of different ways that we can show gentleness, isn't there? We can speak kindly to someone who is struggling. We can help somebody find their way around if they're, they're lost or they're new to a place, maybe someone new to your school. There's lots of different things that we can do to be gentle to others. And it's really important that we do that because we want people to be gentle to us too. So our question, our reflection question for today is, who can you show gentleness to today? Who can you show gentleness to today? So hopefully you manage to think up at least a few different names of people who you can show gentleness to today. Of course, we want to be gentle to everyone, don't we? But sometimes it's good to just think of one or two people who you think maybe need you to be especially gentle with them at the moment. Maybe somebody having a little bit of a difficult time and you want to be that encouraging, gentle person to them. It's good for us to show gentleness because we want people to be gentle with us. And as we learned in our story today, Jesus didn't like it when people were being harsh and cruel towards others. He decided he wanted to be gentle as well. So God wants to be gentle to you and to us always. Well, that is it for this week's Bible Bites. We're going to say a prayer and then we're going to close. Dear God, we thank you very much for the gift of gentleness. We thank you that it is good for us to be gentle to one another. Thank you in our story we saw Jesus being gentle to the lady when she needed help. And we pray that you will help us also to be gentle to one another always. We'll say a whisper amen to finish. Amen. 
Great. Well, I've had a really good time this week. I especially like the trick that we did this week. I got very excited about it before doing it. So please do remember, if you want to do any of these tricks, it's really important that you talk to an adult first, whether that's your your parents or somebody else, a teacher at school or someone like that. Always, always talk to an adult first. But thanks very much for coming to this week's Bible Bites. My name is Reverend Dave. And we'll see you all again next week for our next Bible Bites. So it's bye-bye from me and Bible Bites. Bye-bye, everybody.